Let's talk about how to make trading stocks easier by losing money. I get it, that doesn't sound right at all. That sounds like a total contradiction, but hear me out here and let me just take you through a, a little setup here and I'm probably gonna insult your intelligence, but this is actually what's gonna illustrate my point. So you as a trader, this is you, you make a trade and then you really have two potential outcomes, right? You can lose or, well, you can win. So my question becomes, well, what, what of those is easiest? Clay, this is the, don't click off the video. I get it, I'm proving my point right now. That's a stupid, stupid thing, right? Everybody would wanna do this, right? Everybody wants to win. So when everybody wants to win, when everybody has absolutely zero, zero desire to lose, right, that's, a, that's more than a fair statement. No, I mean, it's not like even in the debate. Well, you know, I don't know, Clay. I think I like to lose money. No, nobody's thinking that. Everybody wants to win. Burning desire, I wanna win. So the question then becomes, well, if we can make this easy, therefore, you would make trading as a whole easy, right? Because if the most difficult thing to do out there is take a loss, if you can make that a little bit easier, than just buy logic itself without actually make trading as a whole easier. So the question becomes, okay, Clay, how do you make this easy? Well, instead of just sitting here in front of a blackboard and walking you through, well, this could happen or this could happen, what I wanna do is just take you to my desktop and walk you through a real life example that happened uh, within the chat room. Um, and th that way you know that this is not me you know, talking in theory in front of a chalkboard. Because that's all this is right now. I have no problem saying that. Right now I'm sitting here saying, hey, you can make losing money. You can make that a little easier. But why don't I just show you what I mean by all this and that way you'll get an example of how you will become a better trader. How trading does become easier because losing money becomes easier. So what I wanna try to do here is motivate you into, yeah, make this a little easier, lose money. And when you can do that, things are gonna start to change around for you. So let's go to my desktop. All right, welcome to my desktop. And not to state the obvious, but as traders, our first job is what? Well, we need to find something to trade, right? So in this situation, the stock that I found a trade that I thought, hey, you know what, that looks worthwhile, that looks like a money-making opportunity, that was BYND. So because of this, I made the alert right here to uh, members of the private trading community that I offer at claytrader.com. And once again, there's no theory here, okay? This was a real-life alert that was made, this was a real-life example. And in that alert, there's two main components that I wanna focus on. The first was 105.50 long. That just means buying. If you're, if you're new or just getting started, long means you're buying the stock. And then right there, stop under. I was in a rush to get it out there, so clearly I forgot the D in under, but stop meaning, okay, that's where you'd wanna exit the trade. That's where you would wanna take the loss, assuming it continues to go against you. And that was at 104.50. So again, you wanna buy at 105.50, you would wanna get out, you would wanna exit at 104.50. So here is what the chart looked like at the time that that alert was made and to keep things color coordinated here, right there is the go long point, the entry point, and then down here that orange line represents uh, the stop, right? The stop loss where you'd wanna exit the trade. So let's see how this played out. And again, this is right where uh, you know the chart looked like when the alert was made. And over the next two minutes, because again, we're talking on a two minute time frame. if you're brand new to charts and candlesticks, Two minutes just means that each one of these candlesticks as they're known represents two minutes worth of time. But you can see that the price comes down here and hits that green line. Or in other words, there was the buy right there at the 105.50ish area. And then in the next two minutes, this is what happens. The price goes down there and actually violates and goes down below that orange line. So right here we have a critical, critical moment in a trader's journey. So as I mentioned, critical, critical point right now within our journey here and within any sort of journey as a trader. And the critical point becomes, well, because you have two pathways you can pursue at this point within the trade, with any trade you're making. The first is right there. If you wanna be successful, you must respect one rule, never lie to yourself. Now the difficult part about this is that, okay, well, I had a trade plan and now the plane, trade plan, the price has actually gone to where I said I would get out. 
But the problem with that is, that means I'm losing money. That means I lock in the loss, right? It's a realized loss. Not very easy. Of course, it's, it's easy to, to say things at first. Well, yeah, if it goes there, I'm gonna get out. Okay, well, when it actually happens, a lot of times the temptation is to do this. Listen, there's, everything's okay, everything is fine, you know what, and you come up with a, some sort of excuse. And the reason why you're coming up with this excuse is, well, that means that you're not gonna lose money, right? Because you're not gonna realize the loss. It could always bounce back, right? Well, the prices always come back up and everything will be okay, but you, in all actuality, are now lying to yourself. And this is the pivot point in any trader's journey. You map something out, you map out a trade plan, and then the price behaves in one may, one way and you gotta be either honest with yourself or you're gonna start to go into denial. You're gonna start to tell yourself things that will make you stay in the trade. When why do you stay in the trade? Well, because at the core that means you're not losing money because you still have a chance to at least get out at break even or even make money. But this is exactly why, you know, I offered up and right there just said, you know what, honor that stop. Trying to help members, trying to help everybody just realize, hey, you know what? Don't be lying to yourself. Be honest with yourself. It's hit, you know, it, it's gone. Honor the stop. Honor the stop. Just get out, get out, because you don't want to put yourself in a nasty situation. So at this point, though, there are now two groups of people that exist. We have, you know, the people that are saying this, hey, you know what? I lie to myself. Now, of course, they're not saying that to themselves at the time, but you get the idea. And then the other group of people is those that were actually honest. They're saying, you know what? I'm honest with myself. That's the two groups of people that we have now moving forward in this journey. And the question now becomes, okay, how does the rest of this unfold for these two groups of people? Now, at this time, we have the two groups of people. We have those that are being honest with themselves and have taken the loss, they've lost money, and then we have those that, well, they're not. They're uh, lying to themselves, they're in denial, and to be fair, like I said already, that means I haven't lost any money, which is, which is a very attractive attribute. Well, if I do this, then I'm not losing money. So let's see how this continued to play out. So the next two minutes, you can see that, which really does give the cruelty of the markets. Um, I laugh and chuckle because at one point, you can see the price actually did bounce. It started to bounce back upwards and got that high. So those people that fell into the, you know, they were lying to themselves group, they're thinking, yes, I made the right decision, great. Yep, I'm glad I did that because yeah, the price did start to bounce. Unfortunately, the bounce didn't last very long and then back down the price went. So a little, little cruel move on the market's part. So here are the next two minutes. And then here were the next two minutes. And at this point in time, because I was still watching, I noticed something, so I made another alert. Now here was the alert that I made, 104.25 flush point. Once again, I misspelled it, but when you're, when you're in a rush and you wanna get it out there, sometimes typos happen. But 104.25 flush point, meaning, you know what? I mean, when you flush something, it goes down, and in the market, if you're new, you can actually make money when prices go down. That is known as going short, shorting. I realize if you're new, wait, what? It can be a mind-blowing thought, but yes, in the markets, that's the powerful thing. You can make money when prices go down. So just understand that going forward from this point, prices going down, well, for one group of people, is actually a good thing. And for the other group of people, it would be a bad thing, right? Because if you're still holding and hoping, wanting the price to go up, well, you don't wanna see the price go down. But for those people that actually got out, you, you know, you can make money when prices move down. But yeah, there are two groups. So the question becomes, okay, well, what group of people can take advantage of this new setup? Well, of course, th those people that were honest with themselves. How so? Well, because they sold. And when you, when, you got, when you get out of the position, okay, well, at least you have money now back in your account that you can put to use again. Sure, it's a little less money, but it's still money that you can put to use. So those are the people that could actually get involved with this alert. So let's see how it all played out at this point. At this point, we now have people that can actually take advantage of the movement and those that are just sitting there holding and hoping and saying, well, I, I hope it bounces back up, right? So when you have money, you can take advantage of new alerts. You can take advantage of new opportunities, which we have here. So again, yeah, some people lost money, but at least they're in the position now to be able to t take advantage of what potentially happens. So let's just see how this played out. So next two minutes, you can see 
price actually did violate down through the 104.25. So remember, at this point, we have two people. We have two people, we have or one group of people that uh, this loss has now officially become even bigger because they were supposed to have gotten out at 104.50-ish, and all of a sudden it's down below 104. Then you have other people that took the loss, but now they're you know entering in and they're seeing some movement in their favor. And then check out this next two minute period. Huge flush to the downside, went as low as 101.75-ish. So again, and not to reiterate, but I want you to just, this is what's gonna help you take losses, you know, make that easier, is think about it. There's that group of people that were lying to themselves that are now down multiple points, multiple points. But then there's the other group of people that theoretically speaking, they could have wiped away their losses already. I mean, because they, if they if you lost right around a dollar per share, you have this big movement down here, I mean, that's well over a $1 move in their favor. But, but you wanna manage the trade rightly. So, you know, a little bit of a, what we call a dead cat bounce here. And then you can see the price begins to roll back over goes sideways, revisits those lows, and then again, look at that, continues to bleed further and further, all the way down there to a low of $99. So think about it. People that should have been out, that should have sold, that lied to themselves up around this area, now they're looking at a huge, huge loss against them. So sure, at the time, they didn't lose money, but they opened themselves up to the potential downside of losing a whole lot more. However, those people that took the loss, that just acknowledged, that were honest with themselves, hey, you know what, I, I need to get out, I need to honor the trade plan, they just had the opportunity to not only regain that loss, but then put a whole lot more money in their pocket, because this was a good, over five dollar move, and you know, and again, this is these are two minute candles. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's twenty eight minutes. Within thirty minutes, not only did the loss get recuperated, you actually put that much more money in your pocket. That is powerful, powerful stuff. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? Those two pathways: the one people holding and hoping. In other words, they were prisoners. They could not take advantage of the opportunity because they refused to what? Take the loss. But those people that did take the loss, they had freedom again. And with that freedom, as you saw, they were able to do very, very nicely. They were able to make a good chunk of money. But how were they able to make that good chunk of money? Well, by just losing money in the first place. So just remember that. If you're staring down a loss, don't look at it as, you know, any sort of negative, well, uh, uh, and like I said, there's a million negative things that could go through your mind. Think, hopefully you think back to this video and say, well, you know, if I just take the loss, take the responsible loss, take a controlled loss, then I'm not putting myself on the pathway of somebody that's sitting there holding and hoping and, and a prisoner. You have max freedom to go out there and well, not necessarily trade the same stock like you saw here, but go out there and keep on trading. And when you find a good setups, and when you're you know trading with an actual plan and strategy, then yeah, taking that loss can be quickly wiped away and put you that much more into the green. So hopefully this helps out and hopefully this does kind of motivate you and help you realize that, yeah, you know, taking a loss isn't really as dreaded as, as I kind of make it out to be because if you do it the right way, there's still gonna be more opportunities around the market, which is the best thing about the market is there's always another opportunity. It's not like there's only one opportunity per day or anything like that. Plenty of opportunities out there for everybody. One final thing before you go though, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. That really helps me out. It really helps to communicate to me whether or not I'm, I'm using my time wisely with these sorts of videos. Um, so just simply hitting that like button really helps me out. Also leave a comment down below. Would love to hear from you. Comments, questions, suggestions, anything like that. And finally, check out the channel as a whole. Lots of other type bits of videos, live trade videos, other videos like this. So there's a good variety and hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have a part of the channel, but thank you for hanging out. And yeah, get out there, make trading easier by remembering taking a loss is actually a way to make you that much more money in the bigger picture. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, 
whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.